So, I'm... I have, I have a few emotions about this. So the uh, the trailer trailer uh, gameplay just came out for Sonic of Square Pants, Battle for Bikini Bottom, Rehydrated. And if you watched one of my previous episodes, you know I wasn't planning on overhyping any of this type of stuff anymore. But you know, I really wanted to talk about this because I'm super excited about seeing this type of stuff. So I woke up this morning, uh, you know how I, how I usually wake up. SpongeBob! And then I, I came to my computer and I watched it. And my immediate reaction was, Damn. That looks like Spyro. Um, so far, I'm not overly happy with it. Like, firstly, it looks quite good. And maybe maybe I'm just grumpy this morning. Maybe that's what's going on. But I watched it, and I was like, wow, that looks like every other HD remake this side of the decade. Um, <laughs> and depending on what you, you think, that might be a good thing or it might be a bad thing. And from what well, I'm... From my perspective, I don't really know. I'm, I have a lot of emotions. I'm very excited about this game. I've been waiting for this game for a very long time, and so now that I finally have gameplay, I'm a bit worried and all that type of stuff. Firstly, Purple Lamp, they have done an incredible job for a company that has only ever done a, a few other rubbish looking games and like a, like banned games, more or less. That's a pretty great job. That, look at that. It looks amazing for a company like purple lamp, so that that I'm really impressed by that. Um, it's just I'm I feel like a lot of the style of the original game has kind of been lost, and also this is apparently like the alpha version or something like that, so it's not 100% yet, which I'm quite glad about because firstly the water, some of the water looks good, the the a lot of the water looks quite boring, um, the facial animation and all that type of stuff looks really, really bad, and like the character movement in cutscenes looks really weird to me. Like the part where he sees uh, the great jellyfish or whatever, King Jellyfish, and he like floats back up. Like in the, the original game, that looks better than it does in this one. It looks more fluid, more natural, so I'm, I'm a bit concerned about that. We'll have to see about that. But yeah, so apparently we'll be getting more uh, tomorrow, which will be interesting. But yeah, so those are kind of my thoughts at the moment. It's, what I woke up to, and my immediate reaction was quite upset. I wasn't very happy with it. Uh, it looks very similar to that No Life 4 guys gameplay, which I'm not... <laughs> Firstly, if you watch my uh, uh, BT, uh, reading your comments video, you know I don't agree with him and the concept that Teach Me Nordic stole. They stole what my game looks like. That's because the game looks like generic HD remake. There's no... It's like there's, there's a lot of focus on the grass and that type of stuff. That, and that, to me, was a bit upsetting. Um, I was really hoping for something a little bit more unique. Uh, yeah, again, this is still early days, and all that type of stuff, and they'll be really more, which I'm still excited for, but it does look very... kind of stock standard, in a way. And, yeah, again, depending on your perspective, that might be great, or if you're me, you're like, I want something a bit more unique than that. I'll still buy it on every console and play it. I mean, I love the Spyro remake, it was amazing. But just like, and especially like the colouring was very similar to that as well, and I wasn't sure how I felt about that. But yeah, so those are kind of my thoughts at the moment. Uh, yeah, again, maybe I'm just grumpy, but I'm a little bit worried and disappointed, but I'm also happy. It's it's a lot of emotions. But I'm, I think I'm I think I'm this trailer today is a bit disappointing for me. Um, I'm a bit worried, but I'm I'm morbidly curious as to what will happen next. I'm excited for what will happen next, actually. I think that's the truth. Um, and I'll talk about it on here, a lot of stuff. So let me know in the comments down below. Did you like the trailer? What do you think? Do you agree with the concept of the hits? You were kind of, like, for, for me, as I've said this multiple times now, I was looking for something more SpongeBob, more uniquely SpongeBob, less that looks like something out of Spyro and Crash Bandicoot and all that type of stuff. I was looking for something a little bit more unique. Um, and it still has very unique aspects, but still, yeah, but just even the colouring is so similar, and all that type of stuff, and the modelling, all that, yeah. Um, but yeah, so those are my thoughts, um, a lot of the lighting's really cool and all that type of stuff, so, yeah, I'm, I'm, eh, there's a lot of emotions, alright, there's a lot of emotions. But, uh, yeah, so thank you very so much for watching, I'll, uh, talk about this more extensively, uh, over time and all that type of stuff, but those are my immediate thoughts, we'll talk about 
I really, I, I was going to do one of the things, you know, where like I go through the trailer and I react to every bit of it and talk about it, but I really don't like that style of video. Um, I'm sure you've already seen the trailer, so the, there's not much point in doing that. Um, but yeah, so thank you very so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.